into with this means that Camille can run away with the game. Looks like Caps already had an answer straight away in Salox to Zoe, so the poke coming off from the Zoe Lilia is good, but this Camille over side lane is going to be really, really strong if she gets ahead. Yeah, in your done. face, what he can do is if he hits level 4 before you, he can go to the other crab as well. Exactly. So not only do you lose the crab, you lose two camps. So both junglers pathing into their prior lanes here. We're probably going to see a full clear from both junglers, and then they're going to take the crabs and look to base, but aggressive coming trade coming on top oh, side. Whippo going in. That's going to be the big shield coming in. Adaptive defense is buying time for Wonder, and that's going to do it. The tactical sweep for first. First blood Blinded and already bots. instant blood in the bottom side as Hellasang goes down too! Are you David kidding? Wonder still has to respect the pick, but now we have the Hex Flash coming in. Activating, that's gonna be a little bit more damage. Reckless is here, but the Lilia is also on the way. Upset, trying to back off as much as he can. Onslaught now used, and they'll retreat, wasting a lot of Yankos' time. Look at the cross map though, they're going for a top dive. Wundu has no flash if they hit a stun into CCTP coming in. Coming in, Wonder buying as much time as he can. He's gonna lock up Whippo. The knockback is not going to connect. Wonder's still alive for now, but he does get taken down, and Fnatic make it out alive. And that's a good job for an engage here, because Mickey has no flash. Selfman has flash himself as well, so they can get an engage here. Backing off, waiting for a hex flash. It's just gonna go down here. Mickey gonna get knocked back, hooked, pulled through, and just absolutely one shot. Here with the ult. Oh, he's got seven. Might commit to it though. He sets up the turret to defend himself. It offers a little bit of his own control. You can see it slows down. Yanko, so oh, he can no. hex flash at any moment. Mickey is very squishy. That's gonna be the route. That's gonna be the follow up. Now he's got the Calibrum Q as well. All too easy. His self made is gonna finish the job. So much oh. resources from the jungler. They're starting up the Drake, and there's a huge CS differential on this Aphelios, who scales super, super well into the late game. So G2. Whippo flashes in. Stun. Can disable the turret if he wants to. Leaps in. Now the Camille all coming out as well. It misses the damage, but the turret's still like down. But now, next sec ultimatum. But we will be able to walk. Neck and neck. The balance is there. But Hill is saying the creep's coming in just in time to body block. But now, self-made stepping forward. The knockback. Reckless with the sidestep, but he still gets pulled in. He gets punted back under the tower. Hill's in trouble. Oh, Reckless still alive. The body block on the Calorum Q as well. G2 make it out. Wow. Mickey runs the same play on Hilly again. Both of his uh, deaths from Hill is saying he's been punted back into the tower by Mickey. It really does feel like even just six kills onto the clock. Mickey, oh, Wonder Wonder wins. Hook he wins the hook shot. That's disaster. Whippo just gets to finish the job. Adaptive defense is, but it's not wow. enough. He's Ooh. already out to a big lead, 20 plus CS over Reckless, and he is the focal point of this Fnatic composition. Yeah, definitely, but look at this top side. There's four men, five men hovering towards the top side, and we said this before the game was paused, that Fnatic want to play to bot side, and then G2 will struggle to contest, but they're going for two men for this dive. You see, good follow-up, gets the heal back, oh. and Whippo dunks down. Sleep, maybe oh. they can get a kill. Sleep, looking for the setup. Cap's already burned his... No, maybe he gets a follow-up. Sleepy self-made, good damage can come in from Cap. Niski not in a position to body block. Now oh. the pushback, that is clutch! Niski right when it matters. Caps, no summoner spells left to pick up. Goes for the final flash, but he'll get shut down Let's in the end. of what happened. Whippo won the top side, Niski and self-made won mid, and the upset in Hillisang got so many plates in bot, the Herald will come in, and I think this tower will die. But I think that upset just picked up bot tower just in time, so he got the first tower goal. He is so incredibly far ahead of the clock. He is shredding through this objective, and Fnatic are set up for success. This is 13 he minutes either, but you can see upset move towards the top side, bot Towers down, Kanji 2 might find the pick. Hook lands, interrupts the hook shot. TP behind. Self made there, but he doesn't have a lot of mana. The follow up potentially here. Caps lands the sleep and trouble bubble from down. G2 in trouble. Whip the flank. Flank. Eyes on upset as well. He's been exhausted. Niski in the midst of everything. Whip off to the side. Maybe G2 can find the collapse. Hook shot wall dive, but he dashes Whoa! over. He turns back and he takes down Reckless. That was personal. Upset now set up to throw down some damage. A brief pause as Mickey runs for the hill, but that's going to be at the threaded volley, the kill for self made. This is. There's less brush to work with too, but now G2 just sprinting at Whip. Look at them again. Another four man play towards bot side. Mickey's even catching midway, but Whip. Whippo has ult. He has no flash. The sleep's coming in. Put him to sleep. Unstoppable now as he goes into the tower, but Wonder following up. Whippo's still very tanked, but there's more than enough damage to finish oh. the job. That's the shutdown, but one the one-for-one one. One trade back. Oh, it's a horror for G2 yeah, again. Two turrets for Fnatic and a kill and a turret for G2. That mid turret also falling. Gives Fnatic so much control over this middle lane. And uh, I'd have to ask our observers to bring up the gold on these individual players, because that is absolutely crucial. You see still the 800 lead maintained here by upset. And uh, the top side of the map, two Whippo. So many individual plays, so many individual mistakes, but here we see the benefit. As they've been testing their limits, they're finally prepared for this matchup versus G2. They're winning out in so many of these individual trades and so many of these individual plays as they trade their top tower for their third Drake of the game. And this whole split long, Fnatic have been very confident in their play, you know, on social media saying that this is the way they want to play. They're going to continue to commit to it. And you're seeing that payoff here. You're at this burn. Yeah, upset has crescendo, so it's down below 5k. Moving slowly, 
Mickey's not even going to see it. They're going to skull get Hill Tank waiting in the bush. Maybe they get a pick to follow up, but are you kidding me? Fnatic, they're going to look to grab a little bit more. Lantern coming in a little bit late. Mickey punted back. Hill Tank maybe overstaying here, but Upset has the perfect setup. If he swaps to Gravitum, he can get the CC follow up to kick a fight off. Wonder just going to get deleted. Oh no, this is not a fight that G2 can afford to take. Whippo into the back line. My God, the thousand pierced bear just shredding through G2. Whippo's just an absolute machine. Yankos is looking for Vinicius over the wall. Wide glide, and that's all it takes. Revenge for Fnatic and Rebirth as Upset makes his mark on this team and Whippo shreds through the fight. All that's left are the former Fnatic members, Caps and Reckless, while Fnatic with this 20-minute Baron are just blitzing down that top tower and Caps, he's looking for more, but he's in trouble. Self-made pulling back, Reckless flashing forward, you can't do that, but him in and he makes it work anyway on the one-for-one. One. TV's coming in, Fnatic don't want to stop here. Whippo joins the fight, can he catch Caps? He does oh, have that's that flash. A fast bear. Sleepy, Caps. Oh, he's gonna start with flash. the W, waiting to get anything else down. He goes out, he comes back in, and he goes down. Wonder also gonna use his TP in that instance. Tactical sweep, not gonna connect. Whippo now stepping forward, that's gonna be the stun. Mickey on the way in, but still, Wonder gonna be able to back off. Hillisang coming in to back up Whippo if necessary, but finally, after minutes, back to back of fights. Go for the base, G2 don't have any wave clear, so if they, they base too late, in, they can look for an Nexus tier three, I think. They're gonna drop the Infernal Soul, perhaps, and just try to go for the Nexus. Yeah, I mean, Fnatic, they, they have a cannon minion, they've got a full wave here. G2, you have to recall. Yes, there's an Infernal Soul on the map, but Fnatic aren't gonna stop. I think they're gonna try and pick up the Drake before they try to base, but I think Fnatic might be able to run it down. The Baron is off, so they could try and turn down here, use the old use the use Whippo's Volibear to try and get in this fight, but I think they're too late. Looks like they're trading an inhib for the Infernal Soul. I don't think Fnatic knew that no one based from G2. It was just Mickey, but yet they're look for an engage. They have to hit a hook. That's why he flashes over. Really? Hook hits Wonder. He can flam back over the wall. Pull back. He's waiting for his opportunity. In goes Whippo. The rest of G2 peeling back as much as they can. The flash is out to safety. It's flawlessly played. G2 on the retreat, but Upset is now hunting. He will not connect on the ultimate, and it's a brief break, but no, the wall. Yanko's just barely able to make it out in time as the walls are certainly closing Whippo, in. he's looking for some kind of TP. He's gonna base here and make sure his TP has the home guards. Hillisang is back. looking for some kind of fight. They're just gonna one-shot Hillisang to kick oh, things off. They're gonna pull off the Baron. Upset, fishing for the ultimate, but it will not connect. It's Wonder into the backside immediately to try to take down Selfmade. Mickey's there as well. This fight is split. It's Whippo on the backside versus three members of G2, but Whippo refuses to go down. The sleep coming in, but oh, it's no, no, Gargoyle, stone play, baby. Whippo's living as the wall comes in. Selfmade looking to ride home to victory as Yankos is gonna get taken out by Upset. Fnatic poised to take the Baron and maybe even the game. Caps had no mana for the fight, and Whippo had way too much HP. Again, the man cannot be stopped. The Sterix stone plate combination is absolutely insane. Fnatic, they don't need a Baron. They don't need the Dragon Soul. They're going for the Nexus. Yeah, Fnatic definitely outscaled their Whipple 1v3 in the back line. Looks like Fnatic's going to take this game in 28 minutes. And I cannot believe it, but Fnatic coming back for revenge. They are certainly look like a reborn lineup. Really good game from Fnatic, I think. They threw so many.